Hello Divine Feminines and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Divine Feminines, I'm here to give you guys a, a little quick update, right? Just to see what's going on with the energy around you. Uh, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Um, whatever you do, don't ever force any reading into your world, right guys? And uh, thank you so much Divine Feminines, you guys rock. Um, thank you for all the likes, all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, the comments, you guys, thank you for all the love you show me, okay? I really do appreciate all of you. All right, so Divine, what do you have for Divine Feminines? What's going on around Divine Feminines? Trash, discarding, throwing something out. Somebody's throwing something out here. Somebody, I feel like they're, you know, it's garbage. It's just garbage. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, they're getting signs, synchronicities, too, in dreams. D the deadline's running out here. I've got journal on the bottom of the deck, keeping notes, keeping track. I feel like this... This somebody here is keeping track of their dreams, okay? They're getting signs, synchronicities, messages, and I feel like they're keeping track of them, and they are they're getting the same signs that the, that their deadline is up here. Um, throwing something out though, yeah. See, look, writing, keeping notes, journaling. This person could actually be trying to write you a song. You know, I'm seeing them like writing something for you. Maybe it could be a letter, a song, something like that. And them typing it here, you know, writing something. And then it's not good enough. So they keep crumpling it up and tossing it out in the trash. And time is running out. It's like... Tick-tock, right? Wait, clarify this tick-tock. What's going on here, Divine? What's going on here? Settlement. Hamster wheel, money. There's, a, yeah, there's some kind of, uh, I feel like it's some kind of, um, they're going through some kind of court case, I feel, to get some kind of, um, about money here. Because they cut somebody off and they need some kind of intervention. I feel like this person's just praying for answers. They're getting messages here. That's the help. That's who's getting involved. It's, I feel like it's divine intervention. And they're, they're letting this person know that time's running out here. I feel like they're cutting somebody off who wants a lot of money. A settlement some kind of um, maybe child support case here this is blood ties this is their kids I feel like yes what what's this thank you divine feminine yeah they're writing something for you here or doing something here um, I feel like I kind of feel like they're writing you a letter to be honest with you or a song or a book or something here this could be you divine feminine trying to write a book maybe and it's not working out the greatest for you here maybe um you just keep tearing somebody is crumpling up a piece of paper and just like tossing it to the floor i feel like it's this masculine to be honest with you but some of you could be like having writer's block some kind of creative block and if you are, this is the culprit right here. This. The telepathic messaging. Your person pulling on you, right? That could be it too. For some of you, it's your person. If you're writing a book, though, take it how it resonates with you, right? Reverse the roles. Yeah, if you're like trying to write a book or a song or something like that, you could be having some kind of creative block here because of all the messaging that that energy when your person sends that kind of energy out there thinking about you focused on you praying for you it it, uh, it, it could like 
you're going to feel that it could interrupt your creative ability. How's that? It'll inter it could interrupt your creative ability. Um, so that's for those of you who are trying to write something. If you're not, this is your masculine. So take it how it, how it resonates with you. This is your masculine energy trying to write something to you and crumpling it up and throwing it. I'm seeing the somebody crumpling it up the paper and tossing it on the ground, okay? They're going through a, a, a divorce here. Yeah, they're wishing for you, but you're not paying this person any attention. You're only focused on you right now. I feel like you're just taking a breather from this. It's time for you to indulge yourself a little bit, right? Instead of just getting the box of popcorn, get the glitter box of popcorn. You know what I mean? You're stepping it up a bit. Um, and this, I feel like there's a person here who is trying to manifest you back in. This is them hoping, yearning, praying for you. This is the masculine here. As they go through some kind of divorce, yeah, but you're walking away, like I said. And you're leveling up in your world, ascension. You're on a spiritual path. And I feel like right now the divine is telling you to just put some love back into you, you know? Focus on you. Keep moving forward. You know? I feel like you're kind of lavishing yourself a little bit here, too. Um, just putting love back into you, you know? What else can you show me for Divine Feminine? Thank you. Yeah, your person, they're, they're feeling very blocked off from you right now. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> honestly, for some of you, you're the ones who have given this masculine a drastic cut off here. But I'm, I'm feeling like this is their situation. They're in the middle of a divorce. They know that time has run out. I feel like they're not coming forward physically, but they're, they're trying to reach you telepathically is really what I'm feeling like. You could be seeing the signs of this. Um, one, 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 two, two, two. You can pick it up with your spidey senses and put your hand up and try to block it. You're blocking this out. I feel like you can feel it, especially for those of you trying to be creative. You can feel your person trying to break through. You see how the lines are going straight to them? Swooping and looping over here, and they're heading straight back to you. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There's little lines, right? And if I'm putting it in position, it connects you both. Okay? So I feel like you're going to feel that and you're just kind of mentally blocking this person. You're seeing the signs, synchronicities, the infinity symbol, meaning they want to come back in. You know that you know and can sense that the time is running out for this person. And you're going to feel their energy, okay? You are. If you're doing anything creative, it's going to... I think you're going to need to take maybe uh, some time for yourself. Get out, clear your head, that kind of thing. So you can get back to your create creativity, you know. Yeah, this person, I feel like they're being held up with a legal case. I really do feel like this is your person. They're being held up with a legal case here. And you're like, all right, well, you know, I'm moving forward, right? I'm focused on me, okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to put love back into me. I'm doing my own thing over here. You're feeling lost, buddy, because you've been blocked and cut off. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're focused on your pentacles here, your new beginning. You're kind of pushing this person's energy back, I feel. And you're just, you keep moving forward because you know, you understand, Divine Feminine, that this person, they're not ready to come to you yet. They're still wrapped up in a court case. Yes, I feel like they're getting a divorce from someone, okay? But um, I feel like right now this is part of their karma and cleanup, okay? And then I feel like they'll be ready to come towards you. But you have an understanding of this too. 
you know, um, I, I don't feel any animosity off of you at all. I feel like you're trying to move on. You're trying to focus on your stuff. You're trying to focus on you and build your pentacles. And you could be a boss, business owner, something like that, right? And there's no animosity. It's just it's reached the point where you can't suffer this anymore, okay? Especially since you've learned the lessons from it so really there's nowhere to go but up now and that's what you're doing you're you're headed up these stairs with your back turned here you know and even though you can feel this all going on behind you you still can also sense that your person's not quite ready to approach you yet so what what can you do besides move forward you know Focus on you. you. And for the longest time, honestly, you it looks like you've been the forbidden love here. So you're in a way, you're kind of saying, you know, I know this is a tragedy for you. <laughs> this is a big tragedy, to be honest. Um, but you just, you're holding up your hand like, I don't want any part of this right now. Yeah, look, you're done. Bottom of the deck. You're done. Completion. Lesson learned. And so you move forward and elevate and ascend here. Yeah, your person's just, I feel like you will feel this person, though, definitely pulling on your energy, okay? You guys are connected here, uh, and you're going to be able to sense them trying to reach you telepathically. I feel like you can already sense it, but you just have your back turned. You got your back turned here, back turned here, face turned here, and your hand up. <laughs> you know, there's no getting through to you right now. There really isn't. Not until this person, they're just not ready. And you'll, you'll, I feel like you're going to be able to sense when they are. Okay. All right. What else can you show me? Yeah, they want to come towards you right now. <laughs> this person wants to come towards you. They've got a lot of passion for you. They know it's you that they want, Divine Feminine, all right? Um, but they also know they're still wrapped up with somebody else right now, going through a divorce, going through a legal situation. Um, I'll get more on this bounty hunter here. I, I feel like... This is somebody, a bounty hunter to me, they're, they're kind of, they've got a bounty, right? This person could stand to lose a lot of money because of financial support here. Um, and I feel like the karmic, whoever they're dealing with, is very upset. And they're going to be, they're watching your person, they could be following your person. And if, if your person comes to you now, if this masculine comes to you now, they're going to, the karmic is sure to follow <laughs> all right the karmic is sure to follow the divine masculine they want to show up today though they've been in denial long enough not facing the truth that in the present moment this is how it is i think for whoever this is resonating for this masculine wants to come forward here but they know they would bring the karmic right along with them and they really don't want to do that. That that would ruin their ch any chances, right? They know they're not ready. You know they're not ready. You're forging on. They're hanging on to your energy, trying to communicate with you. Um, I feel like I feel like they hear songs differently. Is what I'm getting. They they hear songs differently, like. Um, Yeah, they're getting messages through songs. Yeah, and it's it's just bringing them to this awareness, okay, that you are their Ace of Cups. This to me in this deck is the Ace of Cups. I don't know what I've got on it. I think it's ashes. <laughs> but yeah, this to me is the Ace of Cups. And they know that you are their Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want to have a meeting here. They want to meet with you. They want to talk to you. 
discuss and plan with you. This is what they want to do. And they're feeling this way today. I feel like this is how it's going to be over this weekend, guys. This is that intense pull, too. This is them highly concentrating on you. Now it is high vibing. Look at all the white. The white, the pink, right? This is very high vibing thoughts. Your person feels really good about this. This is something that they may feel enthusiastic about. This is something that pops out in their mind, right? But they're still dealing with a divorce, a legal case, and a karmic bounty hunter, all right? Oh, this one wants to come out. It flipped upside down. Yeah, they're still on lockdown. They're still, I feel like, I feel like they're in a mental prison and feeling confined because in a way I'm sensing like a divine wall here. Okay, one is on lockdown. One is forbidden love and saying I've had enough. I feel like the divine is kind of keeping you guys kind of separated because your person's just not quite ready. This masculine is still dealing with with a uh, karmic individual who wants revenge and payback. This is the bounty hunter. They want money, the bounty, okay? They're hunting bounty, and they're just in hot pursuit. Um, and I feel like that this is them following this masculine kind of everywhere. That's why they feel so confined. You know? This, this is a karmic who is angry, wants money, is watching the situation behind these glasses, hiding. I feel like they are watching your person like a hawk. Waves of emotion coming and going. Um, I feel like this person is just imbalanced. Okay, they're not balanced emotionally. So they're going to have these, these waves or rifts of like anger, stress, retaliation, revenge, sadness, emotion, anger again. You know what I mean? This is somebody who can be very um, unpredictable as far as their emotions. I feel like they go up and down and up and down. And right now they're going through something that's life-changing. So that only, that only makes it worse for this karmic, right? So their, their emotions are even more out of control. The closer this gets to the end, tick-tock, time is running out, the choppier the waves, the choppier um, and crazier the emotions for this karmic. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, what, can, what else can you show me here? I feel like you've pulled yourself out, you've walked away. From the situation, what did I say? Ups and downs. This person could even be on some kind of drugs. or They, they have these adrenaline rushes where they get really upset. You know? And then they crash really hard. Okay? It's unpredictable. They're just... The karmics are kind of very imbalanced right now. And obsessed. Obsessed about you, obsessed about watching your person, obsessed about how much money they're going to get in a divorce. Okay. I feel like there's a masculine out there who's going to, who they're going to take a risk. I, I feel like they may come towards you. Yeah. They want to feel this. They want to feel the way they used to, just a little bit with you. I, this is them wanting to meet. I feel like they want to get together. They want to meet up with you. They know you're their Ace of Cups here. You guys could have major differences, spiritual differences maybe here. But I feel like you're their happiness. You're the one that they want. Yeah, but this karmic, I'm telling you, trying to trap your person maybe for some of you, not all of you, with the pregnancy, 
Just playing on heartstrings. Be careful with your drinks, too, guys. Don't accept any drinks from anybody, okay? Just to be on the safe side. You know? All right, what else can you show me? The Divine Feminines. This is too many. Unconditional love. I'm telling you, this masculine wants to come back in and talk. They do. I feel like they want to take a risk, take a gamble. They, you could um, be invited out for a drink or something like that. Just be really mindful. Don't You get your own drink. Get your own drink. Okay? I feel like... Um, the thing is, is that it, it would be a huge risk because they know that they're being watched by the karmic. But this person, this masculine, I'm telling you, man, they really want to come towards you. There's such a pull on your energy. They're trying to reach out to you just by thinking about you, you know? I, I think you can feel this. You can feel how close this person's getting to your energy. Oh, all right. <laughs> Divine feminines. Yeah, and you're like, I just don't want, I just want to, I kind of get the sense that you guys just sort of want to be alone and work on your creative endeavors right now. Focus on you, you know. So a lot of you um, could be starting to get um, messages about where to go next, right? I kind of see you stepping up the game in your life and you could be planning on moving away, like a way away. So some of you could be starting to plan the future, where you want to be in the future, like right now. And things are starting to happen for you too. All right, what else can you show me here for Divine Feminines? Yeah, you're, I feel like your, your masculine is obsessed about you, the karmic is obsessed about you, and the masculine, and money. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, it's true. Yeah, this is your person. You haven't heard anything. It's, it's super quiet right now. You could hear crickets chirping, but I'm telling you, I think you know with your intuition, your person's going through a lot right now. There's actually a lot of progress being made right now you may not hear from this person there's no action being taken but uh i'm seeing a divorce case going on i guess because the divorce card is here you know i mean they're going through it right here with a karmic individual that's that's emotionally imbalanced this could be low-key mental, uh, mental situation here, okay? Like a mental illness, a mental, a chemical imbalance. Thank you. So, you know, the, I feel like they're worried, but that's why you haven't heard from this person. But you can still feel their energy, okay? And they still see you as the one, the Ace of Cups. Yeah. What does this masculine want to say to Divine Feminine? Yeah, they're just not ready. I feel like you're accepting of that. I feel like you're just tired of this. That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward with your life. That's what I'm seeing. And if it here's, it's kind of like... Um, if they, if they come forward, they come forward. If they don't, they don't. You understand the journey, and you know that they're just starting uh, their work, right? And they have to put in the work and get this mess cleaned up before they come towards you. You know? And that's just how it is. I mean... I feel like you guys are healed then. When you can walk away and say, well... 
Um, que sera, sera, right? Whatever will be, will be. Um, you're, you're pretty much healed and ready to move forward. All right. What does this masculine want to say to divine feminine? I do see you guys having some creative blockages, though, this weekend, just from the static. It's really just static, okay? It really is. It's, it's your person trying to reach you telepathically because they're doing nothing but focusing on you, okay? Like hardcore focusing on you. Um, so, you know, yeah, you may have to, like, just get outside and breathe is what I'm hearing. Get outside and breathe. Breathe some fresh air, okay? All right, what does this masculine want to say to Divine Feminine? The life I'm living is not going how I had imagined. I get so upset when something reminds me of you because it reminds me how much I miss you. I wish I could share my good news with you. Well, that's good. I wish I had treated you better. I feel like the good news here is that they're going through a divorce. And you haven't heard anything from this person, but yet you kind of have. I feel like you already can sense it. I feel like you kind of already know with your intuition, but I also feel like it's because you're picking up these messages. You may not be aware of it, but you are. So I feel like that's the good news they want to share with you is that this person's in the process of becoming free. Okay? Yeah. And I wish I had treated you better. Because now you're leaving. It's like they didn't give you a reason really to stick around, right? Please come back. I made a mistake. People are starting to notice that I'm not my normal self. Yeah, I feel like this masculine is having a very hard time holding back from talking to you, okay? I do. I, I can sense that. It is very, very hard on your person to hold back from talking to you. All right. What else can you show me here? What else can you show me? What does this person want to say to Divine Feminines? Yeah, I feel like you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing right now, Divine Feminines. I feel like you're being spiritually led to just move forward. You're doing it in a, in a very peaceful, calm way, okay? No animosity is what I didn't pick up on any animosity. That's just too many. I wonder if your feelings for me are the same. I feel like that's going to be different for all of you. I feel like through this journey and what your person has shown people, I think half of us are like, eh, you know, um, we need somebody who's going to be an emperor to the empress, right? And, and the other half of us are like, I still have these feelings, you know, but I, I just feel like this is, there's something about what your person has shown you and and how deep the hurt is that really did kind of change you a little bit here. <laughs> you know, it changed a lot. So, you know, that's up to you. I wonder if your feelings for me are the same. That's only a question you can answer. Uh, you speak to me through music. What did I say? Songs, song lyrics. They could even be writing a song or you could be writing a song. Give me one more, what this person wants to say, the Divine Feminine. This could be a musician. What can you show me? What does this person want to say? Thank you. Yeah, do you still love me? They don't know if you feel the same way after all that's gone down, after them not talking, everything being silent, you know, everything that you guys have been through, everything they've put you through. They're, they're literally dying to know how you feel about them. I'm not kidding. They are, 
It's the one thing this person really, really wants to know. Is are, are do you feel the same? Are your feelings for me the same? Do you still love me? That's like the main thing. Anyway, divine feminines, listen. That's what I've got for this update here. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. <laughs> and until next time, Divine Feminines, take care of you, okay? And uh, peace out.